Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and something interesting that I'm observing in the uh, future of Windows 11 as we know that we're going to get a big update which is 24H2 is the big and bigger update I think we should call it. It is interesting to note that on 24H2 for x64 and that means for pretty much anyone that has a, a computer because we all run on either an Intel or an AMD processor. And that's the architecture x64 that we talk about. And it's obvious when I look at, you know, what new features are in here, what changes are bringing, uh, are, are coming to Windows 11 24H2. Um, it's not that big of a change. There are some new things. For example, Wi-Fi 7, the new faster Wi-Fi, if you have the hardware for it. Things like that. Um, faster USB speeds. You know, all sorts of things that are interesting. But overall, when you look at it and we look at, you know, how it works and the different menus and you focus on that, you notice that it's not big of that big of a change. And that for the most part, what we see is something that's very, there's very little, little differences between 24H2 and 23H2 visually. And um, you look at the ARM processor, especially the Snapdragon X series, and you see all of these really high-tech new features, including, you know, all the uh, the recall feature and all the AI stuff gone into the different software. And uh, you realize that it seems that the future is going to be, for a while, in two different groups. Those with, which is the majority right now, with the standard PC on Intel and uh, AMD with no NPUs that will have just a standard Windows that doesn't change much over time. And those that will go on the AM, the ARM, you know, Qualcomm uh, X series, or even eventually possibly Intel and AMD when they have more powerful chips with NPUs. But we definitely have the impression that we're seeing that we're going into two directions and one of them will not have as much innovation into it until you buy some PC with really crazy specs and you know very uh, a good NPU, good neural processor that will have the power to manage the new features. So for now, we're really, really going into something that is kind of new because before uh, there wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, Windows was Windows. And whatever machine you had, you had Windows, and everybody had pretty much the same features, the same things. Um, sometimes, you know, they would work better on a machine that has more power. That's normal. But now we're actually getting really, really very serious into two branches of Windows 11 that will each have their own features, and one will have more than the other, the ones that all go with the NPUs. Uh, interesting. Um it's not something that I was expecting, you know, a year ago, a year and a half ago. I don't think we were expecting that. Uh, but then again, a year ago, we were still expecting Windows 12. So uh, that that is really two branches coming up, and now we'll be going forward with basically two different versions of Windows, depending on what you buy as hardware. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.